Hello everyone, I am Rahul. Today I am going to present you a short video lecture on the universe. So, what do you mean by universe? Universe is what has been before we existed and what will be after we have uh, ended our existence. It includes planets, natural satellites, minor planets, stars, galaxies, dwarf planets, asteroids and what not. Everything not under the sun. <laughs> the sun is also included in the universe. Everything that exists and how far it exists encompasses universe. So the observable universe that we have been able to observe is 28 billion parsecs. Now what is this parsecs? Parsecs is the unit which is used to measure the long or large distances much bigger than the uh, length of the solar system okay so our uh, one so i can give you uh, one conversion one parsec is equal to 3.26 light years light years what is light year distance covered by light in one year okay so how you can find the distance covered by light in one year think about it and write it in comments it is very uh, easy uh, speed is equal to distance upon time from that you can find out so some quick points now the word planet comes from the greek word planet i which means wanderers now planet is something which doesn't have its own heat and light okay otherwise it will become a star planet gets its heat from the sun okay and if you go on the moon you and you see the earth it will look like uh, the moon when we see from the earth and that is it will be shining so the next point is uh, before the coming to the next point i want to tell you about uh, other definition given by international astronomical union what is says about planet it has to follow the following conditions to be called planet. One, encircle the sun. That is, it orbits around the sun. Second, it should clear all the objects in the orbit. Clear all objects in the orbit. Okay. Third one is, it should have enough mass so that gravity makes it spherical in shape now why most of the heavenly bodies in our solar system or outside our solar system are spherical the reason is due to gravity now the masses attract each other and when they attract each other they collide or they try to put more and more mass inside this smaller space and when this happens it leads to formation of spherical shape as it can have the maximum mass inside now th this this circular shape is only possible for objects which are of the order of thousand kilometer of size not be not below that because those below th the mark of thousand kilometers of size are not able to overcome the uh, hard structure of the bodies and those above uh, those above 1000 km are having very huge mass due to which they have huge gravitational forces between them which helps in overcoming the uh, variable structure of the rocky surfaces or the celestial of the celestial objects so these three properties the planet should have and one more thing it should not be satellite of some other body you can't call that a planet now other next point i want to mention is jupiter saturn and uranus have rings around them now the, what does these rings consist of these rings consist of debris which has been uh, in there in the space so 
now what i want to mention is that this is given in the ncrt is that only jupiter saturn and uranus have rings around them but i have uh, searched lot of places they also include neptune in, in it so these four planets have rings around it though it is most visible around saturn now venus is considered as earth's twin because its size and shape are very much similar to that of the earth the other thing i want to tell you, tell you is the one year gets over in 88 days in on mercury now the moon uh, moves around earth in about 27 days so it takes exactly the same time to complete one spin thus it is always facing that is only one side of the moon is always facing the earth now next point is the small pieces of rocks which move around the sun are called meteoroids you need to see that small pieces of rocks now sol in roman sol is a root in roman which is related to sun and from this only our solar energy or solar system comes now coming to the galaxy a galaxy is a huge system of billions of stars you see our star our sun is only one of the star it includes billions of stars so you think that how huge it will be and clouds of dust and gases along with that now we we are in the which galaxy we are in milky way galaxy and nearest galaxy to our galaxy is andromeda galaxy andromeda you should remember that so moving forward asteroid belt now asteroid belt is the circumstellar disk in the solar system located roughly between the orbits of mars and jupiter uh, you should know that uh, the the planets which are inside the orbit of mars are terrestrial planets and those Uh, including jupiter and outside jupiter orbit is are jovian planets okay now what i was telling you about the asteroid belt you are seeing these green patches these green patches is actually a circumstellar disk i am talking about between the mars and the jupiter so about half of the mass of the belt is contained in the four largest asteroids found in this belt these are ceres vesta pallas and hygeia so moving forward now what do you mean by kuiper belt now kuiper belt is a region of solar system beyond the orbit of neptune believed to contain many comets asteroid and many small bodies now kuiper belt has five officially recognized dwarf planets these are ceres pluto Pluto till very recently was part of uh, the ninth planet of our solar system. So Ceres, Pluto, Haumea, Makemake, and Eris. These five are the dwarf planets. What do you mean by a dwarf planet? The only difference between a dwarf planet and the normal planet is the dwarf planet has not cleared all the objects from its orbit. That is, suppose this is a dwarf planet. we have the objects here so it may collide with these objects okay so but for the normal planet the orbit will be clean no other heavenly body will be uh, will be before will be on the orbit so these five dwarf planets first one is ceres second one is pluto third one is omea see the shape here fourth one is make make and fifth one is eris so you you should remember these five main dwarf planets are you able to see this is the neptune's orbit see here this is the neptune's orbit and outside that we have kuiper belt so let's move ahead now talking about the moon when you see the moon we see the uh, we see it like this as i am showing you in the figure so first of all we see dark patches here these are called maria the maria word came from the word oceans it will because they people thought that 
we have oceans here that's why you will see the dark spots but actually these were the dried volcanic lava flows uh, you should remember that it can come in pre exam also we see craters we the craters have been created due to collision of various heavenly bodies with the moon third one is howl highlands these uh, these contains of mountains on the moon uh, you should know that we also uh, find earthquakes on the moon and there is no weather on the moon so we always see the near side of the moon you should remember that and moon moon's orbit is tilted uh, by 5 degrees from the earth's orbit suppose this is earth's orbit it is moon's orbit is tilted 5 degrees from the earth's orbit this is 5 degrees suppose so i'm just telling you one more information about moon and near side is always seen because of the synchronized orbit wherever you go you will see this side of the moon only this this uh, image you will see and maximum proportion of moon that we can see is 57% because moon wobbles on its axis now what do you mean by wobbling wobbling means that uh, have you seen a spin top spin top which the children play when you rotate the this is uh, like this this you rotate on the ground so when it rotates uh, before falling off it wobbles like as like uh, the axis moves here and there here and there and it gradually falls so this is called wobbling because of this wobbling effect we can see the 57% proportion of the moon surface so let's move ahead uh, talking about the phases of the moon suppose sunlight is coming from this side and here we have new moon you should see these images not on th this orbit but these external uh, drawings that have been made so when the sunlight are falling from this side as an observer on the earth we will not be able to see the moon so it is called new moon or amavasya in our hindu my uh, hindu calendar now when the moves move from this side then it starts waxing waxing means when something is being added that is light light uh, should uh, we should be able to see the light so you can see here it is looking like crescent and before we were not at all able to see now we will be able to see a small patch of the moon uh, as you see in the various flags like flag of pakistan crescent so when we reach or when we when the moon covers 1/4 of the uh, orbit it is called first quarter quarter obviously means 1/4 so first quarter is covered then we can see half of the moon for the observer on earth you will see like this and when we move ahead it this stage is called waxing gibbous because most more than half of the uh, surface of the moon we are able to see it is called gibbous gibbous because gibbous means more than half and waxing means because it is increases fr from the previous uh, times now as we move further and complete half an orbit we see full moon uh, now you will say that how we are able to see the full moon because uh, earth is in between moon and the sun sun rays we are able to see because moon is tilted 5 degree as i told you recently so we will see the complete moon and hence we call it purnima or full moon you would have heard about uh, movies in which we have vampires and werewolves they which come on uh, new moon or full moon you would have seen the movie twilight so as now it moves forward it starts waning waning means the lighted portion of the moon is decreasing it is called waning gibbous though it is waning it is still more than one half that is more more than one half of the surface of the moon we are able to see as we move forward we reach the third quarter this uh, third quarter means because this is first quarter second quarter but we can't we don't call it second quarter 
here it is third quarter here again we can see half the proportion of the surface of the moon now we move ahead again it is called wakes waning crescent see only uh, very few area or very less area of the moon we are able to see and then we again reach uh, the old position of new moon or amavasya it, this is completed in 70 27 days okay so these are the phases of the moon so let's move ahead uh, what what do you mean by star stars are those which have their own heat and light this is the most basic definition they are very big and hot and so big that they can start their nuclear fusion reactions inside them as a sun has hydrogen and helium we have nuclear fusion and because of that we see huge energy outburst on the sun so uh, you should know that they should they have their own heat and light and they emit it in large amounts okay this is the most important point because earth also has heat inside it but doesn't have light but heat is still there now stars are made up of gases i already told you hydrogen and helium proxima centauri is the nearest star to sun or the second nearest nearest star to the earth so let's move ahead uh, now we come to the constellations constellations are various patterns formed by the different groups of stars one of the three examples are ursa major or big bear small bear or saptrishi a third one is orion or hunter these have these are the names which has been given because they appro they approximately look like look like the shapes of these given saptrishi means seven uh, sages ursa major has also been given big bear because it looks like bear and this one given uh, the name orion because it looks like a hunter in the mythology so see here this is the orion constellation so now i will show you this is the ursa major or big bear inside the ursa major only we have ursa ursa minor or small bear or saptrishi that i am calling see i will show you where is saptrishi 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 this is saptrishi and this seven star poles always uh, uh, like in the direction of pole star and this whole including the saptrishi is big bear okay so let's move ahead so thank you everyone so please like comment and subscribe to www.decipherias.com please like our facebook page and do give your genuine comments because we need that to improve thank you